There are more vending machines in Japan than people in New Zealand. On the street, they sit and wait. Maybe they play a jingle. You can imagine a kind of map of how a vending machine works. It waits in standby mode until someone decides to buy. The buttons won't work and nothing will come out until money is actually put in. Then the machine will change. Usually it will flash the lights of the things you can buy. But sometimes things go wrong. The vending machine looks simple, but its map can still get quite complicated. Let's look at something as basic as possible, a turnstile. The default for a turnstile is closed. To get to the trains, these people need e-money. A successful payment opens the gates. They stay open for one person to enter, and that action reverts them to closed. The vending machine and turnstile diagrams are simple examples of finite state machines. The different nodes are states, and the arrows are transitions. This is a model of computation that processes input events and produces output. In general, there is a start state, and sometimes there can be final states, represented like this. A start state can also be a final state, as in this example. It's a special type of FSM called an acceptor. It has no output, and its purpose is to identify if the input is even length. Let's say the input events are just ones or zeros. For every input, the machine transitions from one state to the other. When the input stops, if we're in the left state, the answer is accept. If we're in the right state, the answer is not accept, and the string has an odd number of digits. FSMs can get complicated. Here's an example that recognizes strings that end with frog. It works no matter what characters come before the F-R-O-G. The trick is to jump backwards each time you find an F. An appropriate solution.